Hi, I'd like to talk about the sales area today and it covers multiple sales area, common distribution channel, common division and a little bit of uh, credit management, business area and the functional area. Sales area. What is sales area? It is a combination of sales organization and distribution channel and division. For example, you create the distribution channel and the division. Every and each this combination, we have to set uh, set up a customer master or material master, price condition, pricing procedure for each sales area if these are not set up. For this reason a lot of ST consultant is reluctant to create this many sales area. But if you know these two transactions you won't be frightened. It also is used for an analytical dimension or business area credit control area by this business area credit area okay um, in the sales area entry screen you see Sales organization, distribution channel, division, these are the uh, three, three things which I mentioned. So every time you enter sales order, you need to specify or user has to specify these three. And if customer master, material master, price condition is not maintained for this particular sales, sales area well it might require the master entry here's a message if common distribution channel are not set up and what is distribution channel I meant this uh, internet sales, for example, if you sell a same product by store sales or internet sales, or you, oh, this is a direct sales. If you do the export, are you going to selling it, selling it or third party business? Or are you ask them um, agent? Yeah. Uh, like you sell it directly, agency sales, or you do this by third party sales, or uh, is this a retail business, wholesale business, or in the service, uh, customer service uh, project, there are a need, you sell the parts by a good sales, or you sell the parts as a service sales, this kind of distinction. So that's called a distribution channel. How the goods are sold. Typically store sales or interest sales you can imagine. And the next one, division. What is division? I think it's coming it's coming from product division. What is product division? For example, like a refrigerator or wash wash machine, microwave, you see the difference? You need to distinguish these product division is the field uh, liquid crystal TV, Hoover, humidifier if you are in uh, automotive business is this a sedan or sports car station wagon, multi-purpose vehicle bus truck or if you are selling the power generator or is this a lithium-ion battery, solar battery, wind turbine, you can imagine the distinction.
right and uh, let's see how the SAP table structure is For example the customer master you see customer has a customer table uh, for sales area has this key field the blue fields are key fields so if distribution channel is different it, it has a capability to keep this customer for the three keys sales area so sales area is different it is possible you keep the sale uh, you create the customer master and set up a different setting for each sales area if not common distribution channel are configured that's customer and material master there's a uh, the sales data material master is MDKE Material master, the structure is a bit different. The division is not here, it's not the key. But if we look at the MARA, the division field is here. It's not the database key, but it's in a general data table, so it's almost the same, uh, almost the same as we have it in key. And this time I created um, this material master and uh, different division. division is assigned one two three four and this product I kept it with the blank division let's see the setup uh, IMG menu enterprise structure you define you, you define it or assign it in the definition um, sales organization distribution channel and the division is here division uh, define division I kept it um, anonymous Sales organization. Usually, you use the second line to create the uh, sales organization or company code using the second line, the organization copy. The distribution channel here. Direct sales. This is this is my example you have to decide design according to your requirement and um, just for your information uh, the shipping point is here logistics execution right once you uh, created these entries and uh, you have to assign it under assignment uh, assign sales organization to company code and 
the distribution channel to sales organization. And the same way division to sales organization. Now you set up a sales area. So this time I assign uh, all the combination. In reality, you don't need to create this this way. Only the necessary part. These two, the business area account. This one. Uh, let's come to this point later on. Right. If we set up this sales area and the customer master material master has to be created if common distribution channels are not uh, set up and uh, it's in uh, sales and distribution master data the first two uh, two things common distribution channels common di divisions So the first one, the left one is for conditions. Condition means sales price, price, uh, unit price, and I set it uh, referring to a distribution channel ten for all the combination. Customer master and material master is the second line, second column. So we, I didn't have to create the custom master, material master. I only have one entry there, the division. So usually some uh, a lot of project decide uh, divisions or di uh, distribution channel for material master and which doesn't have uh, any meaning in actual uh, business these are the two uh, functionality the many passes there and uh, some uh, transactions you didn't we didn't see the t code so i uh, took uh, I look into the old material division distribution channel and define sales areas plant oh okay this one this one is about the uh, what is organization and the plant and now this is a procedure pricing procedure pricing procedure it's uh, it's OBKK um, it's simple we just assign it to uh, distribution channel and division these two are document type category customer pricing category and assign the same pricing procedure so it's nothing without this uh, the sales order entry has error so this is the pricing procedure also the price condition record the same price condition record because we set up the BOR1 BOR2 you only need to set up one entry unlike this one uh, for example
I don't remember the distribution channel, but uh, probably this one. And uh, just to check the table name, 304. 304. So this is the condition, price condition. So I just created this entry for this distribution channel, then this will be referred for every sales area using a common distribution channel. And uh, just for your knowledge, um, condition record I checked uh, 304 uh, is this a 304 so this is how uh, pricing table is structured so I checked the 304 you want to see the entry this is a structure. Right, this is the price condition. And without this setting, um, well, I have already set up a setting uh, in place, so I don't have any error. Uh, you may have, uh, you, you will have um, error in uh, sales order entry somewhere around here. I don't have error anymore. So how does it look in uh, report? Let's see the CPA report. Let's limit the uh, data only to currency company code currency. As you can see, this is company code sales organization and division, or this distribution channel and division. Distribution channel and division so if you sell by an uh, internet or if you sell by uh, store or you sell by agency or service you can see it in report this way you can use it in analytical segment um, and you have to, I mean, if you are accounting consultant who, da, who do, who does the CO, the COPA, you have to also know the SD. And I hear some people are setting false rumor, like uh, costing based COPA is not uh, updated or only the account based COPA will be the one in the future. SAP is not saying that. SAP is neutral about that. So I know these guys uh, who are setting a false rumor, creating a, a false 
material. I think they are they don't want to learn these other functionalities like uh, SD or MRP. They're just lazy bones. And this mentality will not come to this point. That's why a lot of people are frightened to use this functionality. If you're not looking at this, you never realize this. Like material group L004, there's only four. You have a material group here. What is L004? Finished goods. And what is the, where's the point you assign finished goods to semi finished goods raw material for material master? There's no point. If you're not looking at this day by day, you will not realize it. So, this best practice is already not best practice. And this distribution channel can also be used for an analysis. This is a very important feature. So this is the reason. I have assigned a business area to a division. Like 01 has 100, 02 has 200, 03 has 300, 04 has 400. The business area also can be usable. The segment. I don't see any difference, it's just a little bit better the segment and usual functionality. So this time I um, try testing this business area too. Right. So I have explained the price condition, pricing procedure and the analytical dimension this way. So distribution channel oh, division zero zero has zero 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 one has one hundred zero two has two hundred the product division uh, and common distribution channel I have already explained. Right, this VOR1, VOR2 only uh, works for customer master, material master, and the price condition. And pricing procedure, which I have explained, we have to assign the pricing procedure to this combination in OBKK. And there are some cases. This time I didn't have this uh, this problem, but the sales document type also needs assignment to sales organization. I uh, put the note here, the T code. When you enter the sales order, there's an er uh, error to assign it to all the sales area. It's under uh, document sales area. Sales documents, document header. Yeah, there's a sales document types and uh, Oh, we eight O R has a C and O type. Yeah, document pricing procedure Y one is here. 
and document type also needs the sales area well at least in the previous version this version I didn't see uh, any issues so I haven't set it up what we do is assign uh, document type document type is uh, right mouse here says document type assign document type for all the sales area and we have to set up from the top this and this and this and then this these four transactions are this one just so uh, for your knowledge right so why am I talking about this the benefit you can do the analysis in profit profitability analysis using different distribution channel this is an important feature and there's another uh, topic about business area I once had a customer who require asks me how to see the uh, balance inventory balance I, uh, I wish we have business area same way AP and AL2 and the credit management credit controlling area uh, if you don't have uh, knowledge to say this area this feature is not possible credit management by sales area yes um, SAP has a feature to have uh, do the credit management for for example a different the product group or department in my uh, last project uh, they only had one sales area so this feature we couldn't use so this is also an important feature one customer has a different credit limit than the actual amount according to credit control area and I think you are aware the new S for HANA, uh, it has a new functionality under FSCM, and I also look at this blog. And I did some study, I'm not going to uh, simulate it here. So, if you want to set up. Uh, you can look at this documentation yeah just uh, how it looks in SAP screen today let's see the customer master right the transaction code has changed it's not FD02 or XT02 actually Yes, it says FT02 is obsolete. So now the transaction code is BP. And I made some customer code. To see the credit management, we have to switch the profile, I mean the rule, and uh, yeah, usually this is the FY information, so you can see, we can see the company code information here, or oh, I think we don't see the difference, yeah, first we have to start from here, and we, we have to see want to see the 
accounting information we change the role to this one then we have this company called button and we can see the uh, uh, company called accounting information and in terms the same way and if we change uh, the next one you can see the sales and distribution data and this is the customer pricing procedure we saw it in pricing procedure assignment shipping uh, the re rest is the same now the credit control credit management we have to right in change mode we have this all the selection we should change it to display mode then we only have this one the new credit management it's UKM 000 now we have this button credit segment data yeah we assign this credit segment it's like a credit contouring area so this time I created four according to a business area or the division so every credit segment we can set the different limit this time the amount is the same so we don't see the difference but uh, it's changed table is I did some study and the table seems be um, and the, the profiles is this one the segment information is this one So this 52 I have created one entry I mean and the credit limit so for each and segment each credit segment but uh, this table doesn't seem have the actual amount and the uh, I checked net and it is saying this is the actual data but it doesn't seem so so we have to leave it to you to do the search so there's an uh, amount uh, but uh, I wonder if this is the actual amount it doesn't seem uh, matching this case it is matching uh, this is USD and Canadian dollar just uh, for your information and credit segment uh, it seems these are the two transaction code and this is the table oh, sorry what's the table name hmm. well it's just the uh, entry we look in uh, see it in this transaction it's, all, it's the same as the uh, credit control area and the second one is assigning to a credit controlling area it's not credit controlling area 
So after all, we need a credit control area. Let's check the menu pass. I use menu pass, and uh, of course the credit controlling area is under finance, financial accounting, credit control area. This way. And before. Um, Assignment is under SD, but it's gone somewhere. It's under uh, FSCM, Financial Supply Chain Management, and uh, Credit Management. We look. We have to look into this one, but. Um, Credit segment. This is empty. The credit segment we have to look into the past uh, folder. Credit segment. And uh, assigning. We just saw. And sales area to credit control area. This one, this um, credit control area. So assign, I assigned to uh, based on uh, division. This is all the transaction. And uh, his documentation explains about this one. Since the standard delivery is not uh, signing this one, I mean activating this one, so we have to do this manually. Connection of SD to SAP credit management. No, the blog has this explanation. And this uh, body name. Documentation will not be called since this is uh, it's not activated. Inactive, it says inactive. Yes, to activate it, uh, it seems uh, we just uh, click this one and do the activation. Um, I'm not doing this this time because I don't want to see this blocking message. This is there's nothing to worry about. It's the uh, same as the old status. The only the difference is uh, credit control area or credit segment. That's the only difference. Except one point. I noticed uh, there's no uh, assignment to main account. I'm talking about the past uh, functionality and there was a uh, assignment to main credit account. I took a screen copy, screenshot from the old system. In the old system, yes, main credit account. So the table was K and K K. Uh, sorry, let's go back. Uh, where is the T? 
view. Yes. For example, in this case, I had these two customer uh, referring to this different, I mean, each own code. But there's a function in the past. So this is FT32. It doesn't work today. And if we go into this many paths, there's a credit account assignment there. There's a message. And assign it to this one. For example, assign it to 107. Save. Now it, now it is assigned to OS 107. This is in fact the uh, important feature and unfortunately we don't have this functionality yet in the FSCM. I hope the SAP folks, FSCM guys uh, create realize this functionality too because this one I had the uh, moment uh, I felt saved helped pretty much it's definitely a necessity okay so we talked about a credit controlling area and now right Full business area, sorry. It's not about a credit management, but uh, I have uh, created four types of material master this time. for um, different division and what we have to be careful is uh, this division it's helpful in analysis but if we uh, have it too detailed I think uh, there will be a lot of uh, challenge in entry side because uh, ST order seems to allow one product division So if we, um, for example, yes, uh, we have this entry. Now, when we enter to a, uh, for example, division 02, because I am assigning division uh, to 02, I can choose any distribution channel for this 02. I have to select the same division and if I enter this one if the division is the same it accepts and if you look at the uh, sales area where is the sales area Zero two, and one document can have one sales area. In this case, I am assigning a uh, business area two hundred, two hundred, and if we, okay, for example, if I set a different product division, three hundred and zero three. doesn't accept because now the 0 02 is de determined 0 03 is not accepted one sales document only accepts one division 
and if you have to uh, so I created this material which doesn't have a division it seems it is, it is accepting it but uh, I think the series area is still the same uh, we, do we have a series area? No, the division area is determined based on the first line and series area is this one so we cannot okay division we, I explained this uh, common distribution channel and common division but uh, if you have to assign uh, different product division you may need to keep this uh, material master uh, blank division by the way division uh, Since this is um, general data, it's in the first screen. This is the point you have to be careful about. So the reason I'm uh, saying division it is a uh, business area is defined I mean determined based on division enterprise and uh, okay, business area is of course in the financial accounting this one I created this for it's just an entry and in the ST side uh, there's assignment yes this one if I lose by series area and we have this many entry and first we decide uh, rule and uh, what is rule F4 So plant division. Of course, we assign. Yeah, let's see this ticker later on. Assignment to plant and uh, service area. And the third one, I'm I'm choosing number three, but uh, original channel item division. Actually, it's not an item. It's only a fast item division. So two or three, I don't see much of a difference. And the uh, assignment to uh, business area assignment to plant and division because I assigned the uh, business area to division, the same as the credit control area. This way, and um, business area by sales. I'm assigning. Uh, I also created the uh, four zero business area in case there's a uh, entry or a blank entry division blank. Basically, I assigned one zero one and zero one hundred zero two as uh, zero two hundred zero three as zero three hundred. But in reality, sales department may have a different business area. So this uh, assignment to sales area is very he helpful. Now, the business area um, should not be too detailed. Oh, uh, let's just uh, go through this documentation. 
Well, there's not much information. I have already explained. Uh, documentation has not changed since ECC 6. I checked. Right, there are some guys who said uh, since they have a new GL and the segment uh, business area will not be used in the future but uh, it's still there it's a false rumor or of course uh, it has its part of shortcomings but uh, it's still usable in some cases right assigning to plant uh, we need to assign it to plant right assign business area to plant yeah uh, location for plant in the valuation area identical assign it. I think we've seen it somewhere it's the same table So the business area, the reason I'm using it, oh it's not here, it's about the inventory balance or some other AR and AP, we can see the business area. The business area to, um, there's a setting in FI to enforce this business area. OBY6 and uh, yeah, business area financial statement. So we tick this uh, business area becomes mandatory field for cost center master. So be careful, the cost center validity start date only should be fiscal year beginning or end. And we change it middle of the fiscal year. I had the error in confirmation or well, order release. So this change has to be done at the change of the fiscal year. Uh, let's see the T code. Cost center. And uh, two, I created two because initially I didn't have business area, but I ticked this setting. Now it business area is mandatory field. It's not. Hmm, strange. So I created number two and assigned business area. And the work center to work center, since you have created different uh, cost center, I assigned these cost centers to work center. And I also created four zeros business area and uh, if we look at the APOL we'll see the business area so where is the business oh yes here yeah. this I think uh, we need to tick the business areas financial statement this is account receivable and inventory too we see inventory by business year 
Let's see the financial statement then. And the account receivable, we see the business area here. into an inventory as you can see the raw material you, you can see the amount by business area semi finished goods by business area there are blank entry which uh, uh, before I changed this setting and all zeros uh, the material master I created, which doesn't have uh, division, goes to this one. And finished goods, buy business area, inventory trading goods. Hmm. That's past data. I mean, before changing. So these entries don't have a business area because uh, those are transaction before I change the setting payable account payable to has a business area the sales amount revenue domestic also has a business area is a manufacturing uh, entry raw material consumption Five accounts and then zero accounts. It's a uh, useful functionality. It's uh, in fact the basic functionality. Yeah, it has its part of uh, shortcomings, but as far as it is helpful, especially APAO or inventory, it's very helpful. There's no a rational reason not to use it. Cost on goods sold as business area. So this is the financial entry. And this one activity production order is actually a final goods receipt account. Also is by business area. But be careful, we cannot, you cannot change this tick in OBY6 in middle of the fiscal year. We Suddenly we have an error message at the order release or confirmation only at the change of the fiscal year. And uh, what we have to be careful because we talked about a product division um, business area, it has to be much more higher level, bigger group, like uh, these products, electronic home appliance, these products, automobile, these products, alternative energy, or like a shipbuilding or aircraft manufacturing, are you in a really real estate business? It should be um, segment information for a consolidation. It should not be too detailed. That's the difficult part. Right, this uh, functionality, this is all the functionality. For example, we've seen sales different the division sales is not possible in SD but in the past we had this discussion business area is em empty for tax that or in this case we will see a business area in the account receivable but if you sell different products I think this only happens at the FY interface 
FY entry where if they select a different business area it doesn't it doesn't see the I mean it doesn't know how to decide determine the business area so account receivable gets blanked. In that case the financial statement, the balance sheet is not balanced. One side is amount is bigger and this adjustment program F dot five E was there, it's still there. Although this uh, this seems a bit uh, uh, old functionality, there was one more program called FICO reconciliation, K A L K. K A L K is replaced by um, new G L FICO real time reconciliation, but. Uh, in case you use this one, maybe this may be helpful. Just took a screen copy where the business area is blanked because I couldn't have other example like a tax or the multiple business area for account receivable. I, I don't have this case in this server, but it could happen. This one is for one final goods receipt to order. This one uh, goes to semi finished goods from a production order. This one for finished goods inventory from production order. So I had to specify this uh, four zeros for production order, uh, production order. So their case, there happens this kind of a blank business area. Because oh yes, this one is for um, blank division material for producing, uh, manufacturing for uh, blank division material, which I explained this one. Then production order we have to fill in the business area so it's there but the balance sheet it doesn't uh, know how to determine the business area so it's blanked in that case the balance sheet amount debit credit doesn't balance so what this program does is um, to find out this entry and transfer do the reclass uh, reclassification amount transfer and the account setting is this one f dot five e we it's not in the menu pass today but it works this one then the funny thing is the account setting is there Periodic um, reclassify and the subsequent adjustment this is the account setting. Only the G80 is uh, relevant. There's our account assignment. Serious subsequent adjustment. F dot five e is posting, and there's another transaction. This is not necessary, but uh, this has a calculation. It's like a result analysis. Result analysis and the posting. This account accounting uh, setting. So this is business area and the functional area functional area what is this functional area for it's because uh, in accounting cost of goods sold cost of sales is coming from cost of goods manufactured I mean the finished product amount 
there's a timing difference if the manufacturing is complete or the goods is sold timing difference in the income statement uh, we have this difference manufacturing cost is here and uh, opening balance and the closing balance there's a difference as an inventory change inventory movement in this case the cost of sales was seven thousand so sorry seven thousand uh, one hundred just an example and the functional functional area uh, we see that we need to see if we the cost center cost I mean cost or expense cost or expense any entry on the cost center the SNGA cost center that's called uh, I mean we need to see the di uh, we need to distinguish this am these amount and uh, for this reason like for salary the salary amount electricity amount on factory and salary amount electricity amount on headquarters sales office are different the factory cost it's called the cost is manufacturing cost and these are called expense it's uh, it comes to SNGA or operating expense and manufacturing cost um, that has to be allocated using uh, costing sheet overhead allocation and the actual cost is posted on the cost center this will be allocated when the production order is completed so the cost center will be zero if there's not the difference this kind of a concept and functional area 0100 for YB20 um, functional area uh, it's here it has this many and uh, the 100 um, reduction that means manufacturing cost and sales and distribution or administration that's 300 or 400 but uh, this best practice creates this many for example sales revenue YB10 production cost YB20 and uh, YB30 YB40 the usage of a functional area um, based on cost center and it's on the global setting functional area cost of sales accounting and this transaction code is the same and uh, basically it can be assigned to GL account so the sales amount irrespective of any uh, cost center the sales is YB10 this kind of uh, functional area it can be assigned to GL account but uh, the usage original usage of uh, fun functional area has been cost center categories like um, production has a YB20 manufacturing cost cost center category F is assigned to cost center so the, and uh, like sales and administration cost centers has YB30 or YB40 
so the purpose of functional area is if this cost or expense is for manufacturing or if it is for um, expense that's the purpose of a functional area and we have this assignment here that's the original function right and uh, I think I've covered most of the story today yeah and the T code um, I uh, checked this Tico transaction course on the old material like uh, business area is OX territory a functional area Today there are, I mean, it is going away, but it's helpful, OBY6. Okay, um, allow me to uh, share this. shipping point and uh, this one we've seen and uh, I had some difficulty uh, when I did the study and I did the uh, change directly in this table name it's changeable yeah is the way uh, we work on this transaction is a bit tricky select and uh, select and assign kind of stuff it's uh, sometimes difficult shipping point determination uh, shipping condition and the loading group in the material master and uh, shipping point this is important when you do the delivery Picking location determination that's uh, storage condition, shipping point in storage condition. This one is storage, con uh, storage condition, stand, uh, storage location. And business partner, I have explained this. Credit segment, I have explained this. The new GL. There's a transaction code. I found this in SAP note. This screen we come very frequently. Maybe you should take a note of this one. Business area subsequent adjustment I just explained. If I substitution No, that's not the uh, scope of this time, so I'll skip it. But uh, MLP configuration, the last one, OMDU. To activate MLP, this transaction disappeared from IMG. So this is very important transaction code. Set up material uh, from. Right now, we don't see any menu pass in IMG but without this we cannot you cannot do the MLP that's very important so I put it here so this is about it thanks for watching